Today I'm going to show you how you can create beautiful components like this directly in Cursor using Shad CN, which is actually what V0 uses to make everything look so good. Personally, I like to do most of my work in Cursor because it allows me the most flexibility in terms of modifying my code. V0 recently came out and it has really beautiful UIs that it can design. But I realized that you can actually get UIs that look just like this in Cursor because the magic isn't in V0, but rather in Shad CN Components, which is a design system for React that utilizes Tailwind to apply various styles. Now, if you're not familiar with design systems, they implement a lot of common UI functionality and components so that you don't have to do it from scratch. And they also make it consistent across all these different components. So you might have checkboxes or inputs, buttons, all of these sort of things that every website has. The cool thing about Shad CN is that it's not just a library that you import and then you're stuck with these components. It actually pulls these components into your development environment so then you can customize and modify them from there. So I really like it as a design system and that's what V0 is using under the hood and that's why the V0 components that it creates look so good. But you can actually use them outside of V0 and outside of Vercel. You don't even need to use Next.js. As long as you're using React in some way, you can use Shad CN components. All right, let's create a new React project. We'll use Vite to install it, and then we'll install Shad CN components, and I'll show you how it all comes together. There's a guide that you can follow. Uh, there's a link in the description. And everything I build here, I also put out on GitHub, so you can go ahead and clone the repository and skip all of these steps. I'm gonna copy-paste this link into Cursor so that we can quickly get started. I'm asking it to help me create the React uh, project and giving it some of the instructions. That way I just have it right here inside of Cursor. All right, we'll copy that. We'll just call it UI. We wanna use React TypeScript. And okay, that's installed. So then let's go inside and we can install all of our Tailwind. Tailwind is a library that uses class names attached to your HTML elements to add styles to them. And Shad CN depends on Tailwind to make everything look professional. All right, we've modified our TS config, TS app JSON. All right, now we just gotta install some types. We're gonna update our Vite config here. And now we're gonna install Shad CN, which is gonna allow us to import all of those different components, and then we'll actually be able to modify them directly in the project. Okay, so it looks like it had an issue validating our CSS. I think I have to go to index. And we're just gonna we're just gonna wipe this out and add our tailwind. Let's try this again. All right, it'll ask us to use a style. I think New York is fine. Slate, sure. Gives us some options. And now we have a baseline installation of Shad CN. Okay, so we have everything installed and if I go to npm run dev, I end up on this website here. So let's go ahead and ask this to implement a Shopify clone using Shad CN components in React. And we're gonna ask for a list of products, a sidebar, a nav bar, we're gonna add some search and we'll just use placeholder images. Okay, it's creating a few different components for us and these are based on the Shad CN components but they actually incorporate multiple different pieces. All right, and now we'll actually need to install those Shad CN components and add them to our project. We can do this by running the command npx Shad CN add, and then we can specify the list of components we want to add. So in our case, it's input, button, and card. You can see when we run this command, it will actually create these components within your repository. So you're not just depending on a third-party library which you have no control over. It copies these components in. So you could actually go and create new variations of your buttons or change around the styles and really customize it. So I really like that approach. Okay, we'll update some imports. Let's 
see what the app looks like. When I first went over here, this is what it looked like, but I figured out that it was because I had to add these settings to my Tailwind config to actually make them apply. So after that, it looks like this, but let's go ahead and add some products so that it can look complete. Okay, we got some products. Let's flip back over to the app. Look at that. This is looking pretty good, right? And all of this was possible because we're just using Shad CN directly inside of Cursor. And this is already quite functional, so we can actually search in here. Let's see, can we add things to cart? Not yet, but we can definitely iterate on this. Let me show you one more thing, which is that you can actually set your theme I'm going to go ahead and copy this from ShadCN and we're going to paste it into our CSS file. So now when we flip back here, we can see that it is using these colors and then we can modify things. All right, so I updated a couple more components and now we have dark mode. And this is pretty much all out of the box with ShadCN. So really convenient and you can make beautiful websites very quickly. I put all of this code into a GitHub repository, so check out the link in the description and feel free to get a head start with working on a project like this. But if you wanna see a more involved project built entirely with Cursor, check out this video where I spend multiple hours doing just that. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Take care.